What's up YouTube, it's your boy Ronald West and I'm here with Xavier Carnegie and today we're talking about how to handle being pulled over by the police and we'll get into that right now. Today we're talking about how to handle getting pulled over by the police and what I was told by family and law enforcement, the best thing to do is turn on your dome lights, roll all your windows down and put your hands on the steering wheel because you want to make the cop feel safe in a situation because you know he doesn't know what he's getting into that's what i was told I don't from think, law enforcement i don't think it's my job to make him feel safe why is he pulling me over first, first of all why is, why am i being pulled over let's say you had a tail light out see now if i have a tail light out tail light and out, you didn't know you didn't know it was out once i'm made aware my response is different okay but i think why i'm being pulled over is is important okay so let's say that's the easy one right your tail light is out he told you your tail light's out let's say he pulls you over because he say you look suspicious. See, now that, see, see. Now, my I wanted to make it more realistic. I mean. My response is totally different. So what is your response? Why the fuck you pulled me over? Why did you pull me over? Because you look suspicious. This, uh, this car in the area, there's been a lot of cars like this. Kick rocks, I don't want to talk no more, I'm out. Are you serious? I'm out, I don't want to talk no more. All right, so that's how you would handle it? Absolutely. Can't that be seen as aggressive? I don't care. You shouldn't have pulled me over. You can't, you can't hit me with a rock and then when I pop you with a stick in the face, say my response was overreacted. So, no, you can't judge my response. So with all that's going on in the world, black lives matter. Definitely do. All right, everything that's going on, that's gonna be your response. Because the thing I'm thinking is, that response could, could lead to aggravation or, or somebody feeling a little threatened. Because look, we know how fragile certain egos can be. That's, All I'm saying is, are you going to live to fight another day? It's not my job I, to worry about that man's or that woman's ego. That's not my job. And when we're talking about acerbating the situation, pulling someone over for no reason is good enough reason for me to be aggravated. That cop doesn't he know. He didn't how. tell you he didn't tell you it was no reason. My, he in my scenario, me. in my scenario, he said you look suspicious. Let's say the car looks suspicious. Okay. He didn't say no reason. Now, You're assuming it's no reason. It's no reason to me because I'm just leaving work and I'm on my way home. So I know it wasn't me that, that fits that suspicious <laughs> description. You understand what I'm we, we, we all know it wasn't you. Okay, so that's but that's all that matters. I know it wasn't me. Right. I don't care what he thinks. Okay. Shame on him for assuming it was me. So again, he can't dictate my response. He don't know how my day was at work today. I might have just gotten fired. Right. I might have had a rough day today. Okay. So does he take my feelings into consideration when he approaches me? When I'm approached by the cops, do the cops say, you know what? Let me approach this citizen a little different. I don't know how he's he going to be having a hard day. I don't know how he's going to approach you. It could be a case by case base, but in a, in a case by case base, let's say it's the worst case scenario. By the way you responded, you just aggravated the situation. And what I'm trying to say is you can respond in a situation where you can live another day. That, that, that's all I'm saying. Do you want to do you want to live another day based on what's happening right now? You know, based on what's happening right now, would that really be your response? I, I really think it wouldn't be. I, I think, I think that when you get pulled over, you will comply and you just listen and you'll think about your family and you'll think about living another day. See, the problem is, in too many situations, black men comply. They're, they, they're obliged by the, the officer's uh, request. They're still yanked out of their vehicle. They're still beaten. They're still shot. So again, if you know you didn't commit the crime and you know you don't fit the, the, fit the description, you know it wasn't you, I'm not complying. Leave me alone, let me continue on with my day. Because by me complying, I'm still putting myself at risk. So, okay, that, 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 look, that's, that's your truth. You're still, you're still putting yourself at risk, right? So, the way you're doing it then, if you do it my way, you're still, you're still putting yourself at risk. Hold on, Yes. the way you're doing it, what are you doing? You're definitely putting yourself at risk because number one, you're not fighting back. Like, is that what you're doing? I'm not fighting back. I'm not playing along with the game at all. I'm not playing. I don't want to play. I'm out. <laughs> give my basketball. I'm out. Are you kidding me? No, give my ball. I'm leaving. I don't want to play no more. So here's the thing. That, this is what, what I'm saying is this. Your way is going to lead to altercation because we're going to make this a worst case scenario. My way ha 
if you do it my way, you have more of a chance of surviving the situation and living to fight another day. That's what I'm saying. Meaning you can take it legal. They have cameras now. They're supposed to have all no, these things. No, like, I don't understand. Problem. Help me out. You know what? If there was a law that required the body body cams be worn by every cop and never goes off, right. that would be a different scenario. But that's not the case. Oh, that's not the case. That's I didn't know that. No, I didn't know yes. that. Sometimes they could turn them off. Sometimes they can say, oh, maybe I pulled the cord and it came up by mistake. When you have those situations can happen, then no, you're not always protected. So then it's your word against his words. No, I don't want to play the game. I'm out. I got a question, though. See, I have a question for you. Why is it that, again, let's, let's just... Let's just not get this completely Hey, look, confused. I can tell he set this up for I, me I, I, right I am now. For, I am for, I am pro, pro law enforcement. Like, I'm not an anti-law enforcement. I'm not anti-establishment. My problem is, a lot of times, I think people tend to make excuses for the behavior of law enforcement. And, and again, I, I'm not saying that it's not a complicated job. I'm quite sure it's a highly stressful job. But I think being, being a cop, you need to be able to go from 100 to zero instantly. I think you need to be able to control your emotions a lot more, and I don't know if it's training or what, but if you're scared and you're, and you're high strung, then that sounds like a personal problem. Like, I don't have time to be your therapist when you pull me over. All right, boom, perfect example. You get pulled over by somebody who's scared and high strung, and you act the way you act. That's just gonna escalate, hold on, I'm not finished, I'll let you go. That's just gonna escalate a situation, right? Possibly. My way, for the most part, you're not gonna have to activate that type of being. You're being calm, you're being passive, and you're letting him do his job. That's it. That's all I'm saying. So are you telling me there are no cases when black men are calm, passive, and complies, and their rights are still not trampled on? Let me answer. I did not say that. I didn't say, no, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that that's, that never happens. What I said is, if you do it the way I'm proposing, and that's comply, turn your dome lights on, roll the windows down, survive the situation, and it's comply. Don't activate that high strung personality by reacting the way you reacted. If you, like I said, well, hold on, and I've heard this from law enforcement, what they like to see. This is what I'm hearing from law enforcement. They like to see the dome lights turned on and the windows rolled down to let them know, number one, you're no threat. Let me guess, in, in your scenario, right, You'll probably have your car tinted out and just have the one window. You, you probably won't even roll the window down. You make them knock. <laughs> well, no, I'm asking. I'm asking. How are you going to do it? You understand? Because I want, I want you guys to survive the situation. That's the gonna, most important right, thing. So, so let, let's be clear. Let's be clear. I'm initially pulled over. I'm always complying. No, and then you're pulled over, like I said, for no reason. Now, hold on, see, see? No, because now, I wanna, on. no, but the, th the thing is, I wanna take it to the level where, where, yeah, you should be upset, but I want you to control, no. I want you to control that and live to fight hold another on. day. That's all I'm saying. Once we established, I was wrongfully pulled over. Once we established, I was profiled and pulled over. Like, once these things are established, now it's my job to still make this racist person or this un untrained person who pulled me over wrongfully more comfortable. You were wrong. Now you were wrong and my job is to make you feel comfortable. Once we establish that I was wrongfully pulled over, now again, I have to then make the person who was wrong feel good about wrongfully pulling me over. Yes, yes. That makes no sense to me. Yes, African American <sighs> men. Yes, the answer is yes. Based on based on the way they are playing the game, but that's you want to survive another day. But that's the problem. It shouldn't be played that way. Right. That's the whole point of this conversation. You want to be alive to fight the next day, right? It shouldn't be happening. That's the whole point I, of the conversation. I agree with you. But so let's why not. Why I have to pacify someone? Who's, well, who's wrong? Because you want to survive. You see what they're doing? You want to survive the situation. With those personalities that you're talking about, those traits, that just activates that. That escalates any situation. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I'll give, you, I'll give you a situation. Let's say you're coming out to Walmart with your family. Let's say you just bought your son a brand new tricycle. You're, you're pulling the tricycle to the car, Co police pulls up, they put, put handcuffs on you, they think you stole a tricycle. Why would they think you stole a tricycle? Now it comes to find out you have a receipt, it's paid for. What is your immediate response when you're pushed on the car and your handcuffs are put on you? 
Tell me your immediate response. I gotta survive for my family. Honestly, I, I don't think that's your immediate response. I don't think that's an honest response. Well, hold on, pause. That's not fair. Why? Because if I'm having this conversation with you and it's me talking, it's my honest response. <gasps> no, listen, I've automatically know, because you know what? I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When you ask me the question, I already could feel the situation happening. And my automatic response was, ching, ching. I'm going to get some money out of it. I'm not going to lie to you because you know me. You know me. The first thing I was thinking, I'm going to comply. I'm not going to say anything. And I'm just going to be very docile. And I'm going to do exactly what they tell me to do. While my wife and my child is watching. And they're going to be, they're going to understand exactly how I get down. And they're going to know exactly what to do. And it's follow suit. We're going to be nice and calm. And you're going to seem, it's going to seem like there's no big deal. I'm going to say, officer, there's no problem. I understand how things are. And then the very next day, I'm going to sue them for all they have. I think... And is that, is that a wrong way of thinking? No, you know what? That's just your way of thinking. Oh. <laughs> I mean, now, now, don't get me wrong. I'm coming out of the Walmart, and I'm a little bigger, so like four of them jump on me, throw me to the, <laughs> throw me to the ground. Yeah, they're going to call back up for you, boy. Put the handcuffs on me and say I stole a tricycle. I don't know if playing possum is the first <laughs> thing. You that, bet, that, cause that's what you're saying. Dude, Play possum. You better not sneeze, cause they're gonna think they're gonna think you did anything. Don't sneeze, don't do anything. <laughs> so now nah, again, I don't think playing possum is the first thing. I'm, I I think when you're attacked, sometimes to retaliate when you're when you're wrongfully attacked, I think is the is, by by human nature, I think is the, the the most natural response. Now again, after it's all over, I'm like, yeah, I'm going to call my lawyer and I'm going to make it, I'm, I'm going to make them pay financially for 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 the way they treated me. But again, I still that that thought that you had, it might be my second or third thought, but the first thought is not play possum and it's probably to survive and get them off of me because they have no reason to be on me. <sighs> that's a tough one, bro. I, I'm not I'm not gonna lie, that's a tough one. That that's a tough one, man. I mean. Because I'm stronger than you, I guess, mentally, and I'm not trying, in that situation, okay. I'm just saying, I mean, I'm going to take the embarrassment and everything because I'm going to sue him. I don't even think it's about the embarrassment. It's just that playing possum when someone attacks me is not the first thing that comes to mind. No, it's the police attacking you who's gotten away with killing black men all the time. That is what, who's attacking you. That's what I'm telling about. For the most part, that's what happens. They get away with that's that's who's attacking you. And I think and I, going, and I think you gotta you gotta realize that you have no defense. So I think going no bones and just laying on the ground, just playing. <laughs> I mean, you don't do that. I mean, that's what you said. Yo, you say go no bones and just I, lay there. Wow. Because again, now don't forget when they when when you're being accused of stealing something, when they when when they approach you, they're already amped up and overly aggressive. Uh. So not only, nine out of 10, are you just thrown to the, to the car, to the floor, your face is bleeding. You might catch a couple knees in the face, elbows to the jaw. I guarantee you. All right, so you give me a worst case scenario. So all right, so all right, so matter of fact, I'm gonna answer it maybe the way you want me to answer it. And what's that? All right, so they accuse me of stealing a tricycle. Okay. One cop comes and, pers and starts to get me on the floor. I reverse what he's doing. Rocks bottoms up, <laughs> and I said, "Yo, that wasn't me." <laughs> and you let him go. Hey, that's it. Yo, I don't know what to do. No, no, seriously, this is this is that's a good situation. I guess the one getting pulled over by the cops is an easier one because I think, that one is more of like I think it's more. I think the second one I just gave you is more realistic. I think that happens more often than not. What? That, what? Somebody stealing a bicycle at a no. Walmart? I think I think this is gonna be one of our worst videos. Why do you think that? People are gonna get so riled up by certain things, man. All I'm just trying to say is that, listen, I want us to survive. You know what I mean? I want us to survive the situation if we can, because there's a lot of times there's an opportunity for us to live the next day. Let's give ourselves that chance at least. If I'm hearing from law enforcement that when you get pulled over by a cop, and we're just talking about when you get pulled over by the police, because that's what the topic of this video is. Okay. You brought up a, a scenario that I hope n no black man has to go through, to be honest with I you. That's, that's tough. Through, but I agree. That, that's tough, but let's just try to help the best way we can. Okay. I heard from law enforcement, the best thing to do is turn your lights on in your car okay. and roll your windows down and put your hand in the steering wheel. Like that, that, that's the best thing to do. That's what I hear from law enforcement. All right. So, so what, do you, what do you have to say about that in our closing thoughts right now? Next time I get pulled over, I'm gonna turn my dome lights on. 
I'm put my hands on the stand well. <laughs> but if I still get it, I'm popping you. You hear that? Deal? Yeah, deal. Deal. That's it. Good combo. We out, yo. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Peace. <laughs> I hope this shit is going, yo. <laughs>